Mm, I love it. I always feel very accomplished when I get through products. Call it whatever you want. I call it, would I repurchase this? It's also an empties video. I've literally gone through every single one of these products and have very well-formed opinions on them. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kate the Great Beauty and I'm an exclusively pro-choice influencer, which means that I only feature products from brands that are loudly and proudly in support of abortion rights. I do keep a researched and updated pro-choice beauty brand list and that can always be found on my Instagram. Head over there, screenshot it, keep it with you for easy access on your phone. Of course, I'm having a spiked eggnog. I am addicted to these. This is my favorite holiday drink in December. Literally just Southern Comfort eggnog. I'm very specific. I happen to like the Jameson cask mates, either the IPA or the stout edition. There's just like a little sweetness in there. It's the perfect combination. And then I just like load it with ice so it's nice and chill. Oh. And we're just gonna do a grab bag situation. We don't know what I'm gonna choose out of this bag. This is the latest cleansing balm that I've been using. This is from Bioma. And I picked this up myself at Ulta. I really, really wanted to try it because I tried one of the serums from Bioma. It was their hydrating hyaluronic acid serum. And it was really decent. It was really nice. It's a really great price point. I always have to have some sort of a cream balm cleanser because I double cleanse. It's just the way to go. This I did not love. This was not my favorite. I will not be repurchasing this. I mean, it has really great ingredients. It has barrier lipids like grapeseed oil and olive fruit extract. It felt like I was literally putting just grease on my face. It was like thick. You know what I mean? Like it was too thick too much. I mean, I definitely like something to feel beefy and substantial in terms of a balm facial cleanser, but I don't need it to be that beefy. Oh, okay. Well, what are the odds that I would pull both Bioma products in here? But here we are. So this is an ultra hydrating daily cleanser that has a triceramide complex with licorice root and green tea. It is a pH balanced jelly formula. This was a really nice cleanser. I don't know if it's at the top of my cleanser list. Would I choose this over say like the Glossier Melky Jelly? No. In fact, that is something that I want to repurchase soon because I miss my Glossier Melky Jelly. That is one of the best cleansers I have ever used. Okay, so I think this is like my third or fourth bottle of the Jordan Samuel Hydrate the Mist. I mean, don't worry because I already am using my backup. I am very fortunate because I am on Jordan's PR list and he keeps me in stock with this product because he knows how much I love it. Like I cannot be without a mist and his mist is the tops. I mean, there are a lot more fancy, complicated holiday cocktails to make, but honestly, I don't know if any of them can really beat this. So this is the Merit Mascara, and this is actually in my collection with Merit. I do have my own collection with Merit, and this is one of the products I made sure to have in that collection. And it also just gives you the most beautiful, natural, flirty lashes. It's a really buildable, workable formula, and I just can't say enough about it. I love the brush. I think the brush is just right, not too big, not too small. If you do wanna give Merit a try, I highly suggest my collection because it is always 15% off and you're getting like literally the best products from Merit. Well, in my opinion. Speaking of, I wanna point out what I'm wearing on my face today. The blush I'm wearing today is actually the shade Raspberry Beret from Merit. And then I topped the apples of my cheeks with Stockholm. like. Of course. So next we have my shampoo and this is a winner for me. This is the Amika Mirror Ball High Shine and Protect Antioxidant Shampoo. This is definitely gonna be a repurchase for me. I loved this. I feel like it gives my hair a really nice shine. It's also really important for me to tell you like what kind of hair I have because obviously it's gonna be different for everyone. So I have very short pixie cut. I've always had fine hair, but a lot of it. So I'm always looking for something that is going to not weigh my hair down. It's not going to make my hair greasy, but it's going to really maintain that shine and make it look really nice and healthy. And that's exactly what this did. I'm a wash my hair every day gal. If I go any amount of time without washing my hair, 
at most it's gonna be like a day and a half, two days. After that, you don't wanna be around me. I know everyone has different hair and like there's this whole like hair training movement and like I'm just a big proponent of washing the hair. So for me, this knocked it out of the park. I love this and I just love Amika. I've had very few bad, have I had any? negative thoughts about Amika, I don't think I have. I just love this brand so much. Also, I know this isn't super important, but I do love their packaging. Time for a lip gloss reapplication. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to tell you, this is a limited edition shade of the Rode um, Peptide Lip Tint. They just released this shade and I am absolutely in love with it. This is called Jelly Bean and it is just like a beautiful, here, I'm gonna show it to you. Like, look at that, just a beautiful, it kind of matches my nails, like a beautiful pearlescent sheer light pink. Ooh, mm, I love it. Like, I don't even remember what's in here, you know? This is the Benefit Brow Gel. I think it's called the Goof Proof Brow Gel, but honestly, I. I couldn't tell you because it's completely rubbed off. The reason I focused on this brow gel and I used it for so long was because it was the closest thing I could come to the Kosas brow gel, which I loved, but they're not pro-choice. But honestly, it just didn't come that close. The shade was just on point for me. I used shade 4.5 in the Benefit brow products. I don't know, like, was I blown away by this formula? Nah, not really, it was fine. I actually now use the Gen C brow gel and you can see she's well-loved too. Like. Literally every time I do my makeup, I use this. Okay, so another Jordan Samuel Skin product. This is Hydrate Facial Serum. And if you're wondering if I'm gonna try this again, Jordan literally gave me one of these the size of my head. Like what, what's even going on? So I'm probably not going to need to be getting another one of these for a very long time. I think this is a testament to how much I love this product. This is something I use every single day in both of my skincare regimens, morning and night. This is also fabulous to use on your body and I absolutely am doing that, especially with this size. Slather my body in this and then go over that with my favorite lotion and it's just like, oof. This was sent to me by Tatcha. Thank God, because honestly, so expensive. And even though I'd love to be able to purchase this anytime I wanted, I definitely am not able to do that. <laughs> There's like a little bit at the bottom. Should I try to spritz it on? No, I'm sorry. I'm not using that last bit because I just know it's gonna spurt out onto my makeup in this like really awkward way. But this is one of my favorite mists. It is absolutely worth the money if you have the cash to flash. This will just melt your makeup into your skin so naturally and so beautifully and give you the most like lit from within glow. It is just truly a gorgeous skincare product. I feel like I need to get down on my knees and like, I am not worthy with this product because this is the Rode Glazing Melt. This was one of the, the few skincare products that I tried and within a couple days I was like, this is it. There's no product I've ever tried like this. I wear it every single day, morning and night. It wears gorgeously under makeup. I'm wearing it underneath my makeup today. This is a ceramide facial essence and I can't tell you how many people have written to me and been like, is this product like the, the glazing milk and is, is this comparable? And every single time my answer is no. No, that product is not comparable. It's not the same formula. There is nothing that I have found that is like this. The closest thing I can say is probably the Laneige Cream Skin, I think it's called. I loved that. Laneige is absolutely not pro-choice and this is a better product. This is just like, I gotta have this in my arsenal and truth be told, I actually have two backups right now. Jordan Samuel Skin, once again. This is the Matinee Cream Cleanser. This is one of my favorite like cream balm type cleansers. Like when I was talking about the Bioma earlier and me not liking that balm, this is the opposite of that. This is one of my favorite products that falls under that category. I'll go in with this on dry skin and then I'll splash my face with warm water and it'll get like really nice and milky and break up that makeup. Can't recommend this enough definitely something I'm gonna be using again. This might win MVP of this bag, is what it might do. This is the Dew Deliverance Trinity Serum. Yes, this is another hydrating serum. You know I love my hydrating serums, 
but I have to tell you this one I can see the difference with. When I added this into my skincare, my wrinkles, like the most apparent wrinkles I have are expression lines on my forehead right here. This like blows them out. This like fills them in. I just feel like this is so cushiony and so hydrating. And when I use this product, I just don't notice them as much. I also love the fact that they put the ingredients right on the back for everyone to see the hero ingredients in this product are cannabinoid complex peptides water lily and niacinamide dew is definitely like a higher priced skincare it's not quite as high priced as tatcha but it is worth it it is absolutely worth it and i always have a 10 percent off code with dew if you want to try them i cannot recommend this skincare brand enough and it is definitely like my most loved new skincare brand that I discovered within the last year. I have every one of their products and I love every single one. Oh my God. Guys, this is number one. She's the tits, okay? This is the Say Hydro Bounce Foundation, the Glowy Super Skin Hydro Bounce Foundation. This is my number one foundation that I found in the last year. I think it was released in the last year. Actually, I got a few last little pumps in today, so this is actually the foundation I'm wearing right now. I do wanna point out that I believe through the 10th of December, Sephora is still having that 20% off a one-time purchase for literally anyone. Maybe you add this to cart. Maybe that's what you do because this foundation has never done me wrong. It literally gives me angel skin. I mean, just take a look. Like what's even going on? This is just flawless every single time I use it. If you're looking for a new foundation, run do not walk on the Say Hydro Bounce Foundation. Oh, and speaking of dew, this is their Instant Angel Lipid Rich Moisturizer. And as you can see, I'm already using the backup. This along with the Tatcha face creams, cannot go wrong. I use this every night before bed. This was the smaller size and they actually sent me the jumbo. And you also get one of these little uh, rings when you order. I believe this comes free with the product and this is so helpful to literally get every single bit of the product out. Dew is like really aware and concerned about the environment that is like number one for them. The best way I can describe this to you is it really feels like a moisturizer version of the road glazing milk. It feels juicy and just the right amount of super rich and thick, but not greasy, juicy. Okay, so I've got a lip mask here. This is the e.l.f. Skin Lip Mask. This actually was my favorite until I realized that the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask was my favorite. If you missed my last video, which was a favorites video, if you missed me talking about the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask, you need to go back and watch that because I changed my mind on that. But this is a really nice, cheap alternative. I will tell you, you don't get a lot of product in here. So if you're using a lip mask as much as I use a lip mask, I think I went through this in like three weeks, maybe less. Would I repurchase this? No, I probably wouldn't because this is just better. The Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask, the OG one, not the tinted ones, the OG. This is, it is so good. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this Would I Repurchase This. It was actually super fun for me because I forgot what was in that bag. As always, everything I talked about here today is gonna be linked down below in my description box. Those are affiliate links and that just means that if you shop through my links, it really, really helps to support my channel in a huge way and I thank you in advance. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Mm.